YouTube channel. My name is Contagia, Contagia Smith. Um, I am currently recovering from um, my tummy tuck surgery, where I got tummy tuck, where I got a tummy tuck, skin removal, 360 lipo, and a butt lift. No butt fillers, no butt transfer yet. I may be getting some, but I just haven't gotten it yet. I have a vertical scar um, on my stomach, which I will show you guys soon. And then I have a 360 scar that goes down into a V into my butt crack where he did the butt lift because he pulled me down and he pulled me up. Okay. So, yeah. So today I'm just going to show you guys like a, a day in the life of someone recovering from a tummy tuck. What I do, I'm currently taking care of myself. I have been since um, Friday, which I got my surgery on Tuesday and my um, help had to leave on Friday. So I've been doing it myself. Thank God I was in a position where I was able to walk. I did not have that many walking issues and stuff like that. So other than just a like, lifting and grabbing certain stuff I need help with, I'm, I've been kind of good. You know, I, I, I was very hesitant actually to make this video because I don't, so many people are messed up after surgery. So many people can't walk, can't stand up, can't do anything for themselves. And that wasn't me. Okay. And I don't want to put out there an unrealistic expectation of tummy tuck surgeries and stuff like that. So I was a little hesitant, but it's true. It's, it, it's, it's true. I was walking the day after, when I got home from surgery, it was rough. For, literally for a few hours after that first dose of medicine, I was chilling. So today I'm just going to show you what I do. You know, I wanted to, so I got my surgery done Tuesday. It's been um, already a week and what's today? Friday. Okay. Yeah. So in this, it's been following Friday. So that means it's Tuesday, seven, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's been, I'm 10 days post-op. Sorry, that took so much time. Okay, I'm on a lot of medication still. Okay, so I'm 10 days post-op. And I'm going to show you guys what I do. I, right now, I have no medication in my body because I just woke up. I have been sleeping great, okay? Having a great time sleep. So let me show you what I do. First thing I do is actually use the restroom. I've already done that. I'm sitting on my toilet seat lifter right now, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you did not watch my video of what I bought for surgery. You need to go check this out because if you're getting this BBL or tummy tuck or any type of surgery like that, you need a toilet seat lifter, especially if you're a little taller. I'm 5'9", 5'8", 5'9". Some people like to argue with me about about my height but I'm around there so a toilet seat lifter is very helpful so I'm gonna show you guys how I brush my teeth the first couple days um, I still kind of do it like this because if you don't need to stand up don't stand up so I'm sitting down right now I'm gonna fill up, fill up a full plastic cup of water and I'm gonna leave one plastic cup empty this is not rocket science, but I feel like this will help somebody if they're not like thinking about it. And it's something that you want to put into place if you do have to take care of yourself or if the person that's helping you needs to return back to work or something like this. I just put some toothpaste, toothpaste on my toothbrush. I'm just going to dip it in that cup of water that I just made. Um, and then when you're ready to submit, have your empty cup right there instead of having to get up and go to the sink. Even though it's close, this is far for somebody recovering. And keep brushing. Okay, after I'm good and brushed. No strain on the body. Perfect. that off that's not cute I have my mouthwash this cap is broken so Mm. 
rinse out my cup. Rinse out my cup. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. Then I just close up all my stuffs. And then when I stand up, well, <laughs> it goes in that cup, y'all. And when I stand up, I put everything back. Step two of my, um, well, this is technically first to use the restroom, brush my teeth. Step three, empty out my drains. The drains have been filling up all night and stuff like that, getting all this fluid out of me. So I need to empty out my drains. So let me get set up for that real quick. Now we're going to get into changing my drains. Like, yeah, this is not all me. You know, I got some, I have five drains from surgery. So, um, I have a log that I have to keep track of that my doctor gave me of all the times that I empty my drains so we can keep up with the fluid so he knows when to properly change them out. So do not get your teeth brushing cups mixed up with your drain cup. Okay, so you don't need, I needed a drain cup when um I first started. Um... Because I was like changing my drains kind of in my bed, sometimes on the couch. Most of the time now, I just change them in the bathroom, a little bit more sanitary. And that's because I can move a little bit more. Hopefully, I don't expose too much. Okay, so here are the drains. Well, that's two of them. This is my third one. And then I have two more tucked in my undies because... They don't like to stay up. <laughs> they have clips on them so they can hang on your binder, but they don't like to listen all the time. So I just tucked them bad boys in my underwear, which my sister gave me that idea. She was like, you got some big drawers, put your big drawers on and just tuck them in the underwear. And I was like, oh my God, you are a genius, sis. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working great. So first I like to gently, 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 you know, um, Pull them all out or whatever so I can see them all. Make sure they're not tangled with any, like this is, oh, this is not tangled. It's just, it's not all the way out. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So all my drains are here. Wooty woo, wooty woo. Okay, so we're going to start. I like to start left to right. So this one is R1. This one has been jumping. Okay, I'm sorry. My, my uh, binder is, uh, um, stained from blood <laughs> okay we've been over here healing so this is um it's 50 so this is about 50 so we're going to empty this out this is my r1 drain they're all labeled it's that one one my label fell off but I, it's the only one that fell off so i know which one it is so we're going to empty out that drain and then before i close it up you're supposed to strip it a little bit. So just hold on to the base. Pull, pull, pull. Don't move your tag. When you get to your tag, you know, stop. And then go just to make sure your drain doesn't get clogged. So I probably do it like one or two times. Not too much or whatever. Um, Because you're supposed to do this a couple times a day. So yeah, do that. Then you squeeze your drain back um, to let the air out. Tie it up, I mean, close it up. Make sure it stays in the suction position and put what your drain was at. That was R1, 50, and repeat. So you just keep going. So this one is L2. This is a little bit less, but this this one, is, all of them are really light. So that means hopefully I have an appointment on Monday. It's Friday right now. He's taking these bad boys out because they are getting lighter. I don't know how light they're supposed to be, but hopefully they're coming out oh i didn't strip it um so that's l2 and that was only 25 so we're gonna get the rest of the stuff out you can strip it before or after um whatever suits whatever floats your boat um i like this process so i don't forget l2 was 25 okay now this one, why does this one feel kind of short? Okay, there we go. Ooh, this one I have to be careful with because I kind of moved this one. I pulled it out a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I kind of pulled it out a little bit yesterday, moving too quick, and it kind of hurt. It's okay, it's feeling okay now, but it kind of hurt, and it was bleeding a little bit, but that was the first time I've done that. But I'm doing pretty okay, especially for someone who's taking care of their toe, so. Okay. 
This one is 50. Yes, come on, fluid. Come on, out, fluid. Because <laughs> we don't need you no more. We need you to get out. So I can see what this waist for real, for real look like. Now, this one does not have a label. So I know that's L3. So that's 50. Okay. Now, this one is L4. And this is only 25. Make sure you check your number before you dump it out. So you have an accurate reading. And yeah. And strip it, squeeze it, twist it. And I'm also going kind of fast because yes, I can walk. Yes, I can stand. But too much of it makes me a little bit woozy. Makes me a little woozy sometimes. And especially because I don't have any medication in me. So L4 was 25. And then my last one, this one, you see how it's already like this? I don't know why it did that in my sleep. But I was, I was sleeping good, so... So, yeah, we're going to just make sure this one stays, you know, it's supposed to stay in the suction mode so it can suck out all the stuff. So, we're going to watch that one really closely today. Okay, make sure it's stripped, squeezed, twist, and good. That was 25 on L1. Perfect. So, that means I lost... 175, I don't know if this is milligram, cc, I don't know what this is, 125 of fluid. I think that's good. Hopefully the doctor thinks that's good. He didn't tell me what I should be looking for. He just told me to watch it. So you're supposed to take all these drains, lift it up, and on the folded part of your binder, stick it, and they're supposed to stay. They don't always stay. I'm over a week post-op, so there's probably just some wear and tear on them anyway from pulling them on and off. Like, I know this one's not going to stay for sure. So, <clears throat> I'm going to tuck this one in. Let on this. Let on this. Okay, the rest of these stay, though. It's just that one that don't really stay. <clears throat> I'm sorry if this is too much for you guys. If this is, like, really bloody, I apologize. I called one friend, and she was not ready for what was going on, but she got used to it quick. I think when women, when we're dealing with periods all of our life, we're a little bit better with blood maybe, or whatever, but yeah. So, here we go, I put these back on, and yeah. My doctor told me not to stress, emptying it all the way out because he doesn't want me to pull out my tubes. So he was like, just get majority out, and you're good. Then I'm gonna just pull back down my dress, Make sure you're wearing something comfy, something stretchy. You see, I just fell down. See, it's being a hater, but it's okay though. I got something for you. Bang, big draws. Okay. And then ah, pull it out, pull it out. Boom, boom, boom. Bop, bop, bop. And now we're ready to go. Now I'm just gonna dump. I don't know if you guys wanna see this, but there you go. Quick little look. That's my blood cup. And we're just gonna rinse that off. I change my blood cup every two days. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I change my blood cup every two days or whatever because, you know, nasty bacteria and stuff like that. But um, I just put that one out fresh today. So, cool beans. All right, so now we're going to wash. Let me wash my hands right now. Wash. Lay hands. And now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go and make breakfast and take meds. Right now I'm washing my two cups that I use for my drinks in the morning. Giving a good little wash. Okay. To get ready to make our drinks. Because I you gotta drink a lot. Those two are ready to go. So for breakfast, uh, well, first things first, before we even get into food, 
make yourself a cup of water. You need to drink a lot of water. So, I have two of like the really big pour out gallons of water here. So, water. All right. If you're in the first seven days, you're probably still taking antibiotics. I am not. So I just need to pop something for pain, water, and any normal vitamins that I take. I have taken um, a little break off of the garlic and um, uh, the blood pressure. The You know, I, I posted a video of my blood pressure duo. I'm taking a break off of those because I'm taking so much other stuff right now. I'm just taking a quick break. Okay, so for water retention, this is a lifesaver. I'm going to make another video of what you really need to recover. This will be on that list. So I'm just going to pop one of these. I don't feel really bloated today or anything like that. But just in case you want to act up later on today, let me pop one of those. I'm popping one of my prescribed pain meds. I am down to four, y'all. And I think he gave me... 45 that's a lot. yeah 45 that's a lot but he said he can give me more monday if i need it so i'm just gonna take one of those but i am going to add some tylenol um i'm not gonna tell you guys how much i take. should i tell y'all how much i take i take okay really and truly i take three to four tylenols with 325 milligrams okay so this is 500 milligram tylenol extra strength and then this is 325 milligrams of hydro oh hydrocodone yeah i'm sorry if you can't take all that don't don't take all that i can and i'm fine only one time i got a little woozy i think i took too much it was in the beginning i thought i wasn't gonna make it but i felt good though the pain was gone mm -hmm. okay and then follow up with my bromelain, you're only supposed to take one. I take two, okay? Swelling is not cute, okay? All right, and then with these Arnica cute tabs, these are, oh, I think I'm done with this one. Oh yeah, that's it. You're supposed to take five and just let them dissolve in your tongue, so I do those last and while I'm making this, those are dissolving. Okay. So, first things first. I'm going to make my smoothies. Okay, it's one of my favorite things to make. Um, and this is really what's helped me been able to poop throughout this um, process. I had a bag of fruit that had um, bananas, mangoes, peaches, and pineapple that was my favorite but that's gone which is fine because i have a bomb berry blend and i get these from target i have a bomb blend, berry blend it's called and I, okay i don't know what's wrong with me i start to talk crazy for some reason but it's this it has sliced strawberries dark pitted dark sweet pitted cherries wild blueberries pomegranate and um raspberries i know this medication messes with me immediately because i start talking crazy so i apologize um yeah i'm already like shaking like this is not good like yeah <laughs> i sound crazy so we're gonna put in i don't really measure i'm really just doing this for y'all we're gonna put in some fruit. This is a half a cup. I think I, yeah, I like a, a full cup of fruit. Just a full cup of this fruit. Okay. A nice hole like that. These are Target. Target has like really bomb blends of frozen fruit. I just opened this one. It's my last one, but I did have another one that was really good. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Medication only starts to make you feel crazy. Then um, I have two different types of pineapple juice. I bought these for mixers because my birthday was on the 11th and my surgery was on the 13th. And I thought we was going to need some more mixers. So I bought this little can of pineapple juice. It's my last one. Um, But yeah, this whole thing, which is six fluid ounces of pineapple juice. 
Pineapple juice is good for healing. That's where the bromelain is extracted from. Or whatever. Boom. And then I like to put my oh my smoothies are actually very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. I need a spoon. Clean spoon. And um this is key as to why um I started um pooping early. I had surgery on Tuesday. From Tuesday to Friday, I really didn't eat much, which is not good because that's when I was taking the most meds. But I really didn't eat much, just a little bit enough to take medicine. But I've been putting fiber powder in my smoothies since Friday, Saturday. That's when I started the smoothies. And I take two good scoops, okay? Maybe even... No, I've been pooping good. I don't need that much. Two good scoops of fiber powder. This is the Walmart brand, but it's whatever your... Fiber one, fiber powder. Y'all know what the fiber powder is, right? Just go get your, you know, fiber powder. They got it at CVS, Walmart, Target, everywhere. Get you some fiber powder. And then I feel like that needs a little bit more liquid. Um, so I can add some more fruit. Or I can add some ice. You know, we're just going to add more pineapple juice this and that's good that's it that's the pushes right there we're gonna blend this up and we're gonna pour it up okay okay smoothie is done i made too much so it almost spilled out but it's the perfect amount that it's cut <laughs> okay and i like my smoothies loose so i just need to go ahead and get it in my stomach I ain't got time to um playing with this i like to go ahead and rinse my um blender out oh, i just use a small personal blender too perks to living alone okay you don't need big big appliances okay so that's it for that just rinse that out and we're gonna taste it right quick i'm sorry y'all i talk crazy i know i sound funny mm. Fuck bitches, <laughs> get money. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay. Next thing's next, I make my protein coffee. So, protein coffee because I don't eat a lot, a lot, a lot. I eat a good amount, but I don't eat as much as I should. So I try to at least get a protein coffee in every day so that I don't feel too, too bad or whatever. Um, yeah. So what I do is I make instant coffee. This is, this is not decaf, y'all. This is the regular shit. Next time I'm buying decaf because I be jumping. And as you can see, this is, I really does this because this is almost gone. So I just make an espresso amount. I put a little bit of hot water in the bottom of my cup and I mix it with one to two scoops depending on how I'm feeling. I don't know why I put two in there because I'm already I'm already doing too much. Um yeah, and then I use my, I'm running low on everything. This is okay. I think I'm gonna actually order Amazon Fresh today and see how that works. Because I've never done that. We're gonna see. Okay, so zero calorie skinny syrups, caramel flavor. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Put a little splash of that or whatever. Then I mix this stuff. My homegirl was here over my birthday weekend and I made her look. This is my regular coffee drink, actually. Um, this is not specific to just um surgery recovery. Because yes, I do need protein, but uh, yes, I am still technically a bariatric patron. Pa technically a bariatric patient so i should be still getting a lot of protein and on a regular day i actually don't eat much anyway so this is a way that i get a lot of protein okay in one in one sitting then i got these bomb cute little ice cubes from amazon okay i use the whole tray for one cup because i like it icy baby and i just dump all of that into the warm coffee and get that cracking. I put it all in. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna need another one. Why does this still feel like not enough, not enough ice? 
I don't know about that, honey. I must have didn't fill that up all the way. I'm like, I be, I be doing weird stuff, and I be noticing. I'm be like, huh? So I have another one. Full back up. Okay, that looks better. That looks like a random advice. Okay. So then, put this back. Rinse this off. I can't help myself. I have to like clean and put stuff back immediately so we're gonna make sure this is all the way full up this time maybe yesterday i was rushing maybe yesterday i didn't feel good i don't know okay okay bam all right so then this is what makes it you know the protein coffee s you get you your protein shake, baby. Okay, I know y'all seeing this hat on TikTok and all these other places. So this is the uh, Walmart brand version of the Premier Protein, the chocolate one. Baby, you mix this in this espresso. Starbucks who? St Starbucks who? Okay. So, okay, perfect. The whole thing should be able to fit in here, but I think I put a little bit too much ice. But it's okay because what I do is I stir it up. Let the coffee get in there, stir it up. Let the coffee get in there, stir it up. Let the coffee get in there, stir it up. Oh, let me. Yo, do you know how hard it is not to dance when you're like in a good mood and you're trying to recover? Like, I was trying to move my waist up. It wasn't moving. Mm -mm. It was right. It was stuck. It's still swollen. Delicious. All right, drink a little bit. Put a rest in. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So now you have a smoothie and an iced coffee. You got mad protein. You got a good, like, two servings of fruit. And tell me that's not breakfast. It's not because you should really put something solid in your stomach because um, of all the medication you're taking. Okay, so give me one second. All right, so I have a bagel thin. I'm going to split it. And just throw it in my air fryer for a pair of seconds. <laughs> um, just turn that on. So I'm going to do my bagel thin with, I have some, I have some eggs. But I don't feel like cooking right this second. So I'm going to just smear a baby bell cheese. Uh, why do I keep saying baby bell? It's the laughing cow joint. I'm going to smear a laughing cow cheese on it when it comes out. And I have some, you know, for some more protein. I'm gonna eat an egg. I have some boiled ones. That's a lifesaver. If you like boiled eggs, you can just eat it. Boil you, I boiled some eggs maybe a few days ago. And just, when you're not really hungry, but you know you need to put something in your stomach, eat a boiled egg, you know what I mean? Protein, filling, it'll help you because you need to cope these medications, okay? You're not going to believe me until you're sitting on the edge of your bed and your head is spinning like this, like this, and you feel like it might be the end, okay? Yeah, then you're going to be like, oh, I should have put something in my stomach. Egg is peeled. I'm gonna rinse it off. Make sure the little, little shells is off. Little shells is off. Okay. Okay. Dry it off. Make sure it's clean. My egg look a little beat up. You know, don't come to me. Don't don't come to me. Give me a little plate. Mm -hmm. Put that up there. And, ooh, I smell my bagel. It smells nice. I'm just gonna break up the egg a little bit. Oh, let me tell y'all this. You're not gonna listen to me until it's too late. But let me tell y'all this. Do not eat salt before, after, during your healing process. That messed me up one day. So, so happy I have these. Uh, Mrs. Dash salt free. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. This is the table blend. I'm just sprinkling in a little bit onto my um, boiled egg that I just smashed up. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty. Okay, pulling out my bagel thin. It should be good enough. 
All right, and then we're gonna crack open the laughing cow. Put that there. <clears throat> this is a lot of food, but it's, it's really not a lot of food, but it's a lot for me. So I have one egg, one bagel thing. Um, don't count calories while you're healing, guys. Okay, have fun, enjoy yourself, because I promise you, you're eating way less than what you did before. Enjoy yourself. But yeah. But if you want to know, bagel. Th oh, that was my last one. That's another reason why I need to order Amazon. I'm running low on groceries. One bagel is only 110 calories, so run it up. And then I'm just going to a cooking app. I'm just going to add um a little clementine. A little applesauce. Mm hmm And oh the baby bell cheese. That's not baby bell, it's a laughing cow. 30 calories are it. Which that ain't nothing, honey. What else do I need? Okay, this is that first cup of water. Fill up your water cup before you go sit down. Bada bing, bada boom. Breakfast is done, y'all. It's a lot, but I won't have to move for at least an hour or two. <laughs> and that's key because this is a lot of movement for somebody that's healing. This is a lot of movement for somebody that's healing. So I need to go sit my ass down, okay? Just a quick view of my breakfast, guys. I promise you it's nothing fancy. Okay, so I am currently sitting on my recliner chair that my best friend, the love of my life, my sister got me um, for recovery, which I thought a bitch didn't really need, but has been, become my savior ever since this process. Sitting in my recliner, I have my food right here, okay? I got my meds right here, which, you know, I really only take meds once or twice a day now, like, in the morning and maybe before I go to sleep maybe one time midday but I, I'm not all the time now because I'm 10 days out but when I first first started it was every four hours honestly sometimes every three hours because I was in pain because I was in a lot of pain I have all my drinks over here this can keep me put for about two to three hours and this is a great tip do a sweep through your house before you sit down and make sure you have everything you need like my phone charger is here i'm recording on my phone right now and i have my snacks i have my well i have my breakfast that's enough to hold me over a couple hours plenty of liquids when i finish this cup of water this will be two cups of water and stuff like that i'm gonna watch something on tv um i'm currently watching um snowfall okay i'm on season two and um yeah so i'm gonna chill out for a couple hours the next time you probably see me is probably just getting up to do a lap getting a cup of water maybe a snack but probably not because i don't eat that much and um relaxing enjoying my recovery this is what i'm supposed to be doing like okay just mm -hmm. yeah that's it and you just hit play and then this this is a key part of recovery is watching a series right hi guys um hey so it's been like three four hours i'm not hungry i drink my coffee i drink my smoothie i have my bagel have my egg ate the orange and applesauce too not all together but I did get it in. Um, I did not finish my second cup of water. Um, I'm about to drink it right now. And I don't feel bad, bad, but I am about to pop some more pain meds real quick. Um, things that I keep by my bedside are painkillers, my headphones, and chapstick. Lips can't never be dry, okay? Just about to pop four more of these things. Not with the doctor prescribed because I'm not in that much pain. This is just a little bit just to hold me over. 
and I don't think I need no more food because I'm chilling and I'm moving from my recliner to my couch because you know I want to lay it all the way down now I guess Ooh, I guess I can sit down for a second I just did some laps too just walking around or whatever excuse me I have my compression socks on I'm not hungry oh and I think I forgot to say in the beginning I also got muscle repair and the reason why I remember is because I was just on TikTok and I was laughing and you, you gotta control how you laugh and cough but muscle repair is not as bad as it was the first day first day after I coughed I never wanted to cough again a day of my life or whatever but now it's pretty chill I'm gonna try to finish this whole cup so I can fill it back up before I get comfortable again So basically, I will fill this up. I will get a few more snacks that I want, which my snacks are just like different fruit. I have lightly salted Lay's chips and I have like the um, the low calorie popcorn or whatever, but I'm not in the mood of none of that right now. I'm not really hungry. So I'm just fill up some more water, put it bedside, chill out. For a few more hours and then most likely I'm gonna skip lunch I'm really not hungry or whatever so next time you see me I'll probably be changing my bandages um then I'll relax for another bit then I'll have dinner tonight more meds and then I'm going to bed but that's really all I do guys that's it I'm about to get up when you get up even though my core doesn't feel horrible you still should not use it then my knees and I get up with my knees. Just so you guys can see, this is the popcorn I like. It's delicioso. Um, 50 calories for per cup. But what I'm really paying attention to is the sodium. It's only 75 milligrams of sodium. It's really good. And then I'm addicted to these. But which I was before surgery as well. The tropical fruit, well, tropical fruit, fruit and syrup, passion fruit juice. Fire! Got pineapple in it, passion fruit. Mango is so freaking good. So these are like my go-to snacks. Like I said, I'm not really hungry though, so I'm not about to eat. And I'm starting, I'm getting to that itchy phase where like, I don't have a scar right here, but like everything is itchy. Like I just want to scratch myself, but I'm not going to and things like that. Hey, I'm on my toilet again because I'm about to change my drinks um, and I'm tired. So I want to do this and um, I'm actually going to shower. Oh, this is like right in between. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's right between 25 and 50. It's like literally at halfway point. So I'm gonna do 35 for R1. Okay. Same process, y'all. Just gonna dump these. Be careful not to pull your drain too far. You don't wanna pull it out of your body. I'm so happy this liquid is getting more clear. I feel like that means I'm getting close to the end. I'm going to go ahead and strip it. Just push everything out. Make sure everything is clear. Squeeze, then turn. Okay. Repeat five times. Where's my other one? Okay. This one is L2, 25. Okay. Strip it. Oh, okay. Squeeze, turn. Okay, next one. Oh, oh, this one's full. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, I don't want to pull it too far. This one does. 
and one because one is missing the label altogether and one label is far no it's not this one so this is l3 okay so this one is 50 baby that's what i like to see come on i was laying down on my right side like i found a way to like be able to lay on my side a little bit because sleeping on your back is annoying all the time so i figured out a way to like prop myself up with a pillow and stuff and i was laying on my right side and i think that helps push more fluid out because my right side has way more fluid than my left side so i'm happy about that maybe that will help me get this fluid out quicker and yeah so, oh shoot well that was 50 l3 Yes, this L3 is the one without the label. This one is L1. And oh, what's this? This is like 45. Yes. What is the one here? Yeah. 45. Not quite 50. But hey, come on, baby. Get on the thought of that. Your services are not needed anymore. Thank you. And I've been drinking a lot of water, my smoothies, and protein shakes every day. I actually need to order more. And then the last one should be L4. And it is, oh, this one doesn't have much. I'm still gonna empty it because I'm about to get in a shower. Oh, this one feels so good to shower so it's 25 squeeze put it on turn it okay 25 cool okay so that's done let me get ready to get in the shower all right i'm going to take my bandages off I don't know, once again, how much I can show on YouTube, so we're just going to do a little, a little something, something. Sorry, yes, my binder is dirty. I've been healing. Ooh, yes. It feels so good for the first few seconds, but then it starts to feel weird. Okay, anytime I take my binder off, I go ahead and like take all the extras off and put it in a safe place but I can still easily reach it and then yeah we undo this is paper tape so it doesn't hurt that bad but it does hurt a little bit because you are pulling hairs and stuff like that Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. All right, so I'm all unwrapped. Still very swollen, guys. I'm so sorry. This is not the prettiest, but this is the process, y'all. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take my drains out, place them in my sink. Yes, y'all. Big draws is key. They, 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 they. It's really helping me. Take these out. And we're going to put them in a plastic bag and set them behind you when you get in your shower. But I have a shower chair as well. I'm going to show you guys the setup. First thing you want to do is turn on your water. And here's my shower chair. And get it to a direction where it's close enough to you, but it won't be all up in your face. Safe. I kind of like it to hit the chair just a little bit, but not too much. So I know like the water is hitting right there. So I know it will be touching me, but it won't be like uncomfortable. So since I don't know what I can really show everything, I know I can't show everything. I'm gonna just do it with my clothes on and then I'll just shower separately. My drains, two, uh, three of my drains are here and I can put them on this side and then I have the other ones tucked away over there. So then basically I just get undressed, 
take a shower normally. Um, don't wash my incisions or my scars. Wash my body, just let the warm water and silt run over the scars and then get out. All right, so I'm all clean. I have my bandages on with my binder. I just put on a tank top. I just popped some regular Tylenol painkillers um, because I don't take them before I shower because I don't want to pass out or be too tired or anything like that. So I just took some regular Tylenol. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> a tip if you're taking care of yourself, make sure you save enough energy for when you get out the shower to put your bandages on because it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of work. So I just popped some painkillers, I drank another cup of water, and I have a another cup of water right here waiting for me. I think this is like six or seven for today, which is great. I try to at least get eight, I try. Um, so I have on a fresh pair of compression socks, but I am very tired. I do want a little bit of food now, but I'm gonna give myself a second because I'm tired. And um, so basically I'm just gonna eat and get ready for bed. It's still kind of light outside, but I don't care. I wanna go to sleep. So we're gonna take a break, we're gonna eat, and probably just relax a little bit, and then we're going to sleep. And this is what I wanted for dinner, guys. Just some oatmeal, nothing fancy, and I had a little bit of um, a cup of mandarin oranges. That's it, I'm starting to get swollen. I don't feel good, I'm tired. I wanna go to bed, so I'm gonna eat this. I just took some painkillers and I'm going to sleep. Thanks you guys for watching. Hey, hey,